Hi scientists, I'm Melissa. I'm Amber. And welcome back to Demo of the Week. Today we're going to be talking about polymers. When a group of the same molecules called monomers join together in a repeated pattern, they form a larger molecule called a polymer. Similar to a single Lego brick, monomers are rather small and not very useful to us by themselves. And it's only when we bond these units together that we create something larger and more useful, a polymer. You probably interact with polymers in your everyday life. Polymers create things like rubber bands, your clothes, and even your DNA. Another example of a polymer is this here styrofoam cup. But what if we want to go backwards and separate these polymer chains? Well, it depends on the substance in question. But in the case of this styrofoam cup, the chain can be dissolved with something as simple as acetone, aka nail polish remover. That sounds cool. Let's try it. Well, that was really cool, but why is the residue material so much smaller than our original cup? Did some of the monomers disappear on us? Nope. So our cup mm -hmm. has the same amount of mass before and after dunking in an acetone. So we know none of the links magically disappeared. But something special about styrofoam is when the polymer chain is being created, air is forced into the structure. Hence why it's so lightweight and good at keeping your coffee warm. Oh, so when the styrofoam bonds get dissolved, all of the air escapes and the residue is allowed to compress into a smaller area. Correct. Okay. Alrighty, scientists, that's all the time we have. We'll see you next time for another Demo of the Week. Bye! Bye.